wish my dad was still here. I wish kids in class liked me. I wish you hadn't left. I wish a lot of things. Well, I don't know how much me staying would have helped. You're the only one around here that doesn't treat me like a kid. You are a kid. Doesn't mean I like to be treated like one. He don't. Like, when they was in the parking lot, he was like, we are out here talking. He should have been like, you Listen, need to get your I, uh, butt in the house. I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. So you he think drove he like got a grandma, murdered? You know that. It's... Dang, dragging um, your dad beyond the, the grave. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? Who is this? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Is she looking at him Just like the way I am? To reassure her. And myself. She looks frozen this or something. Is awake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Um. Oh, sorry. So you can go with glasses, Sam, or you can go with regular Sam. That's my goddaughter. I'm about to sit out here and act like I'm. That's not my goddaughter. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gum shoe it up. You will. You make some good points. It doesn't fit. <clears throat> I hate. She deserves to know if anything <laughs> happened. <laughs> Me too. I might just be. I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. Yeah, who car are we in anyway? You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. So they really got in their car. I'm hiding out here. I do. She just sitting outside at night and See outside inside. of a... Looks like a bar. She can't be no older than 13. That went real. <laughs> Is that her mama? Oh no, that's some big man. Why he look back twice? It's not. Um, I thought it was her car. That's why I was confused. Nick might have been dad. <laughs> He's kind of cute. The more things change. That must be Walter. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Hey. Has it really been over two years? Tell me. Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. Mm, no, I don't. That's what back in town requirement. So good to see. You. I love that they step Even back. I wish the circumstances. Girl, you better back your ass on up. I don't know you. Still not a fan of being touched. I don't like random anyone, hugs either. We're big huggers out here. Big uh, huggers. I can appreciate Never a hug, but we have to know each other. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? And not no, have not seen each other uh, in two years. No You're not about to get a hug, probably not. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. Mm. I'll see you inside. Okay, Walter. Now oh, that's a big man. That's a big man right there. Mr. Samuel Higgs. Big shot investigative reporter. Someone sounds a little jealous. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. My friend passed I away. Gladly slash your tires. Oh? Would well, that mean you couldn't leave town? And you are. Leaving town right after this, right? 
as if you are well, Nick's memory only goes oh! He's really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? I didn't know. I thought it was going to, like, load it. I didn't know it was going to just be like, bitch, you picked it. And it was fading away. Gentlemen. With them ugly sunglasses. Those, boys another round. those are, I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole sunglasses right there. They're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. You need to do your job and take him to jail, while. Declan. Hey, careful. I'd rather love the name, though. Tonight. And you always seem to anger up everyone's blood. They get under. They anger my blood. That's so like started it. childish. She started it. <laughs> well, he started it, and if you push him, he'll finish it. You watch yourself. I'll finish it. Shoot. He act like he don't want to do his job. Ain't you supposed to be a cop? I can't believe this. I just want to change the song. Working. Like, uh oh. Oh, it did say Mind Palace. I didn't think that this was what it meant. So, this is the Mind Palace. Okay. Well, we're back. Daddy! She's saying, get your white ass up and come dance with me today with her purple. Okay, Royal. Sam, you gotta leave now. Who's that, Nick's mama? I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. Well, you hadn't been close in years. But oh, he his was girlfriend. My father. Don't miss him. His baby mama. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? I'm just gonna say it. Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused. Well, that's what right she now. told me. I'm just telling you as a parent. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head. I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. Wow. Like. She just came for me. All I did was try to give her heads up, like, your daughter, you know? Like, I wasn't even trying to, like, what's this? Back into the mine palace. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mind closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. <laughs> Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. 
Oh, it's just... it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Right. It's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. Nick has a very deep voice. Mm hmm. But, um, why do they not be friends again? Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. <laughs> Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. <laughs> and I thought he was a hack, which he was. Mm. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can't. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Oh, okay. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. I, w I want to be around you. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But shoot yourself if you want to be like that. I do. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked shoot but something happened to her let me talk to her Anna Sam <laughs> just let it happen <laughs> I'm gonna hug her back like what do you mean Sam loved her at one point I've missed you why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep here now well I'm here now mm -hmm. I'll have to try and come by more often that's what I'm supposed to say right even <laughs> if not everyone around here would like it people around here have short tempers and long memories but most of them mean well Sam the mine was gonna close anyways maybe any year or two five if the Lord has a sense of humor it was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster it wasn't your fault I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared. Mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> It wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. Mm. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. I knew it. I knew I would, like, when... In that first scene, when we was on the stairway to heaven, we first met her, and he's introducing her to Nick, to Sam. I knew, I was like, so they're together. Maybe the reason that they're not friends is because Sam tried to like her. But then it was like, no, they were together. But I guess now that he left, um, two years later, during that two years he was gone, Nick and her was getting all cuddly cuddly. Mm-mm-mm sad people move on though like you just can't but i'm mad so you and nick started going out yeah when did this happen when did this happen? better be after i left 
a few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. Mm. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Oh my gosh. That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. Mm -hmm. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. I'm not gonna ask what's It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. I'm wrong. supposed to be finding out some information. Smart. Though, like, the Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, throw away. I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah. Maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper. Christina's. I don't it was know. honestly nice seeing you. Mm-hmm. Samuel, come. Have a round with me. Mm, I need a drink. Probably or two. not. Or three. But they're and then they're I'll gonna go. make me go over there. I don't wanna sit next to Walter. Oh. I'm not gonna talk to him. So tragic what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. Mm -hmm. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted. Roasted to death. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. It's okay. It's all right, Tara. I don't like the sight of dead, burned people. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't want to be rude on a day like this. Mm hmm. Poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. Oh. I, mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. Mm. So, I don't hate you. Time to get out Thanks of this conversation. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll see you around. Time to get out of this conversation. That girl is crazy. Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. Let me get your next round. Thank you. Maybe Ethan has mm -hmm. a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. Okay. To dear Nicholas. To Nicholas. Let's get our beer bellies out. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess. Maybe Anna. No, oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Not him, no. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. I'm gonna drink them all. So I'm like, I don't like none of them suggestions. Put that down, Kathy. What's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose his Or now he want to be a cop. Anything. Don't touch me! Just Joan. Um, Leave me alone. Now he want to be a cop, oh, but when that... You guys are all so... So... Stupid! You do not talk to people that way. She right. 
They are stupid, especially the cop. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. Mm -mm. She's just so, so. You ain't got a bot, girl. <laughs> you do not have to apologize. That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Beer. When I was five, my granddad gave Jones me some beer though. once. It was nasty, and She'll I don't be okay. drink beer to this day. I'm glad he did that, because maybe if he hadn't, I would have never known what it tastes like. And then I would have drunk it when I was 21, and then liked the feeling, didn't like the taste, and I would have been got a beer belly, and it would have been horrible. Ooh! Um, whose tab is this? <laughs> okay, Ethan, I'm gonna need you to take his. I'm gonna need you to take his car keys today. What? Uh, night. Huh? I'd say that went well, ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Mm -hmm. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. That's true. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. Oh? It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Um... Oh, I Stop. meant to X. Stop pushing oh my god. At me. Stop always poking at me. You just won't quit. I'm trying to help. Mm. And helpful tip number 602. Beer doesn't solve any of this. He might be You're right back there. out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless mm. talking and more talking. And no one says what they mean. Mm -mm. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. I really wanted to go off on that cop. Why was you grabbing up on her like that? 